UK's list of probable nuclear targets on Earth, was your city at risk? Downing Street comprised a list of 106 probable nuclear targets in the United Kingdom during the Cold War including 24 towns and cities and 14 centers of government, documents shared by National Archives reveal. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov saw to allay fears that the Ukraine conflict would escalate into a nuclear war on Thursday. The war in Eastern Europe has reached its 15th day and is showing no signs of slowing. Russia is continuing to target innocent civilians, bombing further medical facilities after a maternity hospital was the victim of airstrikes in Mariupol on Wednesday. When asked if he thought a nuclear war might be triggered in time, Lavrov told reporters, I don't want to believe it, and I do not believe it. He accused the West of fueling the nuclear fire, saying it gives Russia cause for concern when the West, like Freud, keeps on returning and returning to this topic. Russia and the United States boast the biggest arsenals of nuclear warheads in the world, as fears rise of a repeat of the Cold War that divided the East and the West for much of the 20th century. During the Cold War, military chiefs, intelligence services and the cabinet office, under the leadership of then Prime Minister Edward Heath, devised a list of the places they thought were probably nuclear targets in the event of a Soviet attack. The apparent targets of the early 70s were revealed in documents released by the National Archives in 2014. The list, marked top secret by Air Commodore Brian Stanbridge, was created on May 2, 1972. Though most major cities are included, notable omissions included Oxford, Brighton and Aberdeen. In the southeast of England, central London, Dover, Rochester, Gillingham, Chatham and Maidstone were all on the list of towns and cities expected to be targeted. Southampton, Salcombe, Bristol, Reading, Cardiff and Swansea were all included, as were the naval bases of Portsmouth and Plymouth. In the Midlands, Coventry, Birmingham, Kidderminster, Wolverhampton, Nottingham and Leicester were all considered possible targets. Major potential targets further north included Liverpool, Manchester, Sheffield, Huddersfield, Leeds, Hull and York. Both Newcastle and Sunderland were on the list, as were Teesside and the nearby village of Catterick, home to an important RAF base. In Scotland, only Glasgow and Edinburgh were considered possible targets, while Belfast and Armagh were deemed at risk in Northern Ireland. Mr Stanbridge added that his list was not a comprehensive list of all targets likely to be attacked in the event of a general war. In total, the list featured 38 towns, cities and centers of government, 37 US and UK air bases, 25 control, communications and radar facilities and 6 naval sites. An annex to his memo included an estimate from the Joint Intelligence Committee that the USSR's initial nuclear strike could include 150 land-based missiles, alongside an unknown number of submarine-launched weapons. They predicted London could be devastated by two to four bombs, each up to five megatons, exploding over the capital. Glasgow, Birmingham and Manchester were each thought to be at risk of one or two airbursts of the same size. For context, five megatons is 333 times more powerful than the bomb that flattened the Japanese city of Hiroshima in August 1945, killing 140,000 people. Christian Stoddart, a nuclear historian from Aberystwyth University, told The Guardian in 2014 that the UK was a priority Soviet target in the 70s because it was the only Western European state in NATO's military structure after France had left in 1966. He said, for a country the size of Britain, there was no civil defense against large-scale nuclear attack, anything else was a myth. Whitehall knew this and most of the population knew it. A spokesperson for the Ministry of Defense told The Guardian in 2014, these are historical records and like many other documents released every year by the National Archives have little or no relevance to the present day. Defense Secretary Ben Wallace said last week that Putin placing Russia's nuclear forces on high alert was merely a distraction attempt. Thank you for watching our videos. Subscribe to our channel to get notifications when we post newest videos, thank you and goodbye.